Okay, so in this video, I promise we're going to have a look at how to count the number of equal dice uh, in a large number. Of, say if you roll 15 dice and want to see how many equals did you get, because in this game you're building, it's important to roll a number of equal dice for some reason. Uh, believe it or not, I'm going to create a new function to do this. Function uh, count equals. And then I'm going to have an argument here called dice. So I'm going to, let's write a comment here, uh, returns uh, the number of the highest number of equal uh, equals, well, highest number of equal dice in the array of provided dice results something like that so here i'm going to take an array of dice results such as one created from this roll some die function and um, we're going to check how many equals do we have so how many ones how many twos how many threes and all only, only care about the number we have the most of how to do this well this is another art of of programming um, uh, i said uh, we have just learning syntax and writing the actual code. That's one thing. We have debugging. That is one thing. And now we have the kind of modeling thing, sometimes called computational thinking, having this problem or thing you want to do and understand or have an idea of how to write it in code. And sometimes, especially when you're new at coding, you're going to have long, complicated ways of um, writing uh, writing code. So you have, well, and the more experience you get, the, the easier you have to find elegant and short solutions and uh, solutions that are quick to implement in code. I'm going to show you, maybe I should show you two different ways of doing this. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to give you the easiest way, or well, the fastest way I have found so far, or something, I don't know. I'm going to uh, have an array to, to check how many um, st store the number of ones, twos, threes, four, fives, and sixes from these die. Um, so I'm going to create an array here. Let counters equal zero, 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 zero. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we have here, uh, I'm going to, in this array, I'm going to add something here every every time I find a one. I'm going to add something here every time I find a five and something here every time I find a six. And we're going to look at how, well, I'm going to loop through all these dice results and see um, what results we have. So let's go here. Uh, four, I'm going to create a loop. And this, there are different ways of creating loops. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one. For, gonna have a variable called i in dice. You could type of dice, and that would be more beautiful now, but it would also be less pedagogical. So I'm not gonna do that. So for every, uh, value every item that is find, found in the dice array do something between these curly brackets and the counter that keeps track of which item we're at is called i so i'm going to do this now counter i minus one plus 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 here means add one value add one to it i could write equal, uh, something like this counter I minus one equals counter I minus one plus one. So I'm, I'm taking the value I had, adding one to it, and storing it in counter I minus one. Why am I doing this? Um, if we have rolled a one, I'm going to add something here. Remember, this is, starts at zero. This is place zero. This is place one. So if I'm going to add something here, I'm going to take this one and, well, the i is, uh, no, 
I made a mistake here. Okay, so uh, let, let's do it like this. Let result equals dice i. This is easier. So the, the result we have when we loop through this is a dice number i. And then we're going to add here in a place result minus one. This is what I should do. Hey, I made a mistake. Making a mistake is, uh, is good. Uh, so in the counter play, place result minus one, I'm going to add one. And then we're uh, not good to go, but we're going to start here and add a debugger statement. And let's actually add another function here, function TMP, temporary function, just for seeing if I did things correctly. I'm going to say let dice equal roll some die 20, for example. And then count equals dice. OK, I'm going to run this temporary function in debug mode. So it's going to stop here, and we're going to see how this, what this uh, counter variable looks like. This array here, debug. Here we have the counter array, and it says three ones, two twos, because this goes from zero to five instead for instead of one two six. And let's see, this is five six uh, twelve. 20 results in total. It seems like it's, it's working. That's nice. Uh, if you're new at coding, you'll probably make 15 mistakes uh, trying to do this. I just made one and I found it pretty quickly. And I'm pretty pretty experienced at coding, but not no expert. Okay, so this seems to be working. We now have, after this loop, we have values here saying what we have, uh, how many ones, two, threes, and fours, and so on we have. Now I'm going to see which is the highest number of these. And there are probably some neat ways of doing this, but I'm going to uh, do this one. Four, let's I encounter. I'm going to go through all these six numbers and let's say uh, The number, the most number of equals. Let's start with zero, and then we're going to compare against uh, all these numbers we have at the end, and keep the highest one. And I could do this as in an if statement, something like this: if counter i is greater than the maximum value, then uh, set maximum value to counter. Uh, counter i. So if we reach a place where we have five equals and we only had three before, we're going to shift this maximum value to five instead of three. And then at the end, return maximum. Uh, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it would be if I comment this one out. Set the maximum value to math.max, the highest value of a number of values we provide, being max and counter i. And I would prefer using this way uh, because it's shorter and I think it's quicker. This might be even more pedagogical. Uh, so I'm going to keep both here for, for the sake of it. OK. So here's the code. Should we try it out? Um, why not? Uh, let's try it out here. Roll 20 dice and see how many equals we, we get. Run the temporary function. 8 equals. Run again. 5 equals. 9 equals, and so on, 5 equals. Ah, OK, seems to be working. Um, almost done. We should write some commenting, some comments here. 
an array that keeps track of how many ones uh, twos and so on that we have check each die result and add one to the uh, increase the proper place in the counter array find the high maximum value in the counter array there we are and then return the value oops that's it uh, so this was a fairly fairly long video uh, we did something fairly complex uh, we have seen how to create a new uh, kind of loop not using the while statement we had here somewhere yeah, uh, here but something that loops through an array for each value in the array of dice in this case we also see so how to loop through the counter array and find the maximum value we also saw an example of how to implement well how to turn an idea of something into code uh, using computational thinking uh, let's well i hope you found this useful we'll look at some other example in the next video see you there bye